Hello guys, welcome to Merch Benz King. Today we are in beautiful Zurich in Switzerland with the all new Mercedes-Benz EQC. And this is the first model to arrive for the EQ family. In total there will be five models ending with the EQV and in Frankfurt you already saw the new EQS. So in this video I will show you the complete exterior interior and you will take this EQC for a drive here in the city of Zurich. So let's first start with the front of the car because it is very striking with this headlight which goes all along the front of the car and this blacked out horizontal grille with a Mercedes star in the center. And electric is not new for Zurich. It has a lot of tram stations as well as steps. And at the sides of the front bumpers, you can notice the gaps for aerodynamics. It's actually functional. And this particular EQC has blue lines all over. That's because the Zurich people could win this in a contest. So this winning EQC is also fitted with the AMG package. That is very noticeable from the wider bumpers, as well as the blacked out front grille. It also has black elements all over. So from the shape of this EQC, it is noticeable that this is based on the platform of the GLC. But it's a little bit lower and that's because of the weight distribution. The total weight is 2400 kilograms. That's because it has two electric engines, one in the front and one in the rear. Furthermore, it has massive 21 inch rims. The size is 235-45 R21. It has an EQC emblem in blue and a silver sidestep. The rear tire size is 255-40-21 inch. And here we can really notice the curvy rear side. So let's move over to the rear side of the car. I will just unlock it for you to see the tail light because also here it goes all along the rear of the car. It has the EQC 400 emblem as well as the 4 Matic emblem and the nice Zurich license plate. So let's open the trunk. And as you can see it has a lot of space, around 500 liters of trunk capacity a lower lid with your charging system and it is pretty high off the ground you have a button to flip the rear seats as well as the two other rear seats so it is a 60-40 split so let's close the trunk and we will have a look inside Mercedes-Benz managed to combine the comfortness and the practicality in an all-round electric car. It still has the Mercedes-Benz virtues. And I really like this tiny license plate for Switzerland with the Zurich signature. And it really brings out the front of the car. So guys, sitting inside the EQC, I really can notice the quality inside and also the new EQ design. It really focuses on different perspectives. I've got the key right here. Let's just put it at the cup holders. It has a wireless charger for your phone. And let's press the button for the electronics to work. First of all, it has an amazing design, oval, around the dash with bronze stitching in a contrast color and a lot of leather as well as the designo leather stitching at the door and here for the seats it has the amg package so you have this amg steering wheel with touchpads and a flat bottom 
a tool digital screen, both are 10.25 inch. And this is a touch screen. So you can actually press, for example, the home button and just swipe through it like a mobile phone. You can also use the touchpad here on the center. It gives you this feedback sound and vibration on your finger. It has the high-end Burmester surround sound system. Stereos in the front and the rear. Currently the ambient lighting is set to green. And this EQ model has the newest MBUX system. So let's try it. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Change the ambient lighting color to red. Okay, I'm changing the color. So here you can see, it's very crisp and the ambient lighting goes alongside the new design in a very curvy shape. That you can also see in the center console because it is a little bit tilted towards the driver with these nice air vents in a retro style. Nice leather stitching and the AMG pedal and brake. The media display view has a special EQ tile, which is the most important one for this EQC. You can search for a charge station with a map. You can now check the range, charging points and if it is available or not. And it takes around 40 minutes to charge it from 10% all the way to 80%, which is like an optimum. So of course this EQC is based on the GLC platform. It is also very noticeable here in the interior. A lot of C-class elements. But that still means that an electric car doesn't diminish in quality. So by sitting here behind my own driver's position, I have to tell that it has enough space. The headroom is very decent, I'm not touching the roof. And as for leg space, I have around 10 centimeters left. And also here you can notice the EQ design in this GLC platform. It has the Designo leather stitching with carbon fiber door trim, Burmester surround sound system. Also a small center tunnel, so you can actually fit here in the middle seat so three adults can easily fit a very nice look of the interior from this perspective let's take the EQC for a drive here it says EQ on the display I will just press the button for the electronics to work And let's put on the seatbelt. And let's press the button to start the EQC. So right now the vehicle is ready to drive, as it says right here. Before we take it for a drive, I will just quickly show you the display. I can press the home button on the left side of the steering wheel and swipe to the left and right and let's go to display design and I will put it into classic now it turns blue progressive and here it shows you the power in percentage and the speedometer in a digital way so back to classic here it has the heads up display settings so let's pull it into drive with the stick right here and now we're ready to go there's a little bump and let's go
and it is so impressive that the only thing I hear is the tire noise and the air conditioning system and the fun fact when Mercedes tested this EQ before it came on the market they noticed a weird noise and they figured out it was the air conditioning system so they had to replace it and that's all because this car is so quiet so as we are going downhill I will show you the driving modes that this car has it has a dynamic button I will just put it into echo and then it is less responsive when you push the pedal I will downshift with the shifter on the steering wheel to D minus and now the car slows down for itself not with the brakes so the battery actually charges and you really notice this down here so I will just release the brake release the pedal D double minus and it will actually come to a full stop also because of the new technology that this car has with the AR camera combined with the set nav so if you approach a junction it will actually know it and break the car for itself with the engine so on the D double minus the recuperation is very active and it almost comes to a full stop but it actually charges pretty well so to put it back into its default position you just have to grab the up pedal and now it is in D automatic automatic mode means it will control it for itself by using the cameras and the navigation system so now it lets the car roll down without using the recuperation and as you can see we are now in the city center of Zurich at the Bahnhof a lovely city Zurich and a great place to drive your EQC the prices start at around 65,000 euros in Germany and that's lower than its competitors and Mercedes-Benz claims that this EQC will have a range of 420 kilometers it will of course depend on the weather circumstances because in Oslo in my full driving review it had less range but also in rainy and cold weather conditions so now we are at the older city part of Zurich it's amazing with a lot of tourism and beautiful sight what's amazing about the EQ is the technology because Mercedes has managed how may I help you that you can drive your full electric car without getting worried of running out of batteries if you insert a destination for example 200 kilometers away then it will tell you exactly where you need to charge your vehicle and if there is space it will show the occupancy for example 6 out of 8 and as you set your destination to a charging point it will pre-warm the batteries so it charges faster and the EQC also comes standard with rear suspension so if you have a heavy load in the trunk normally your car would like lift in the front and the headlights would blind the people in front of you but with the air suspension it will increase the height of the rear so that the headlights are still straight on the road
So guys, thanks for watching Merz-Benz King. I hope you like this video with the Mercedes-Benz EQC here in Zurich. And stay tuned for the next video guys. Bye bye.